Modern Warfare 3 is just around the corner and we will definitely be posting glitches for it. So be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out. I will also keep posting videos for Modern Warfare 2 so don't worry about being left behind. In this video, I'll show you all the best glitches working right now in DMZ. So let's go for 130 likes if you want to see more DMZ glitches, and now let's get started. Sadly, there is no contraband dupe in DMZ anymore, but you can get contraband weapons easily if you have a friend. Have them stick all your favorite attachments onto your favorite weapon, and then head into DMZ together. Drop your weapons for each other, and then head to Xville. You can also do the no exfil glitch if you are in Almazra, so just head to a Koshi complex entrance. Most of you know about the no exfil glitch, but if you don't, then just interact with the bunker door and close the game when the loading screen appears. Now restart the game and make your way back into DMZ. Your friend's weapon will be a contraband with all the best attachments, but your insured weapon will be on cooldown. You can reduce the cooldown instantly by exfilling with a pile of cash, or you can dead drop a bunch of weapons you pick up from bots. It's about 8 weapons for a 1 hour cooldown, and you can place them all in the back of a vehicle and then drive that vehicle right up to the dead drop. One of my favorite contraband weapons can be found right here on Vondel. Just have a friend push forward in front of the stuck door and then ram them with the vehicle to push them through. They can then open the door for you and you can both grab all the nice loot. There is also a gold M13B that will randomly spawn in this room, but it might not be there for every game. You can also find some nice weapons inside the weapon lockers and chest, and I will show you a few other doors you can glitch through later on. You can also push a friend through these types of doors using the exact same trick. If the front of the door is closed, then that means there is an LTV inside, which means the only way in is by starting up a deliver cargo contract. So you could use this glitch to troll players if you want. Once a team starts the contract and goes to get the LTV, you could be waiting inside to surprise them. So you might want to take extra precaution when opening up these doors in the future. Sadly, they patched the teleport glitch using the LTV, but we will keep looking for another way to do it, so be sure to subscribe. You will be able to stay underwater forever if you do the scuba mask glitch. Go underwater wearing the scuba mask and then drop it to the ground and then equip it again and quickly open your backpack and drop it. This part is very tricky to do and has to be done very fast. Once you've done it right, a scuba mask will be stuck on your face and you will be able to breathe underwater forever. Just make sure you do not equip another mask or go into the radiation. This can be really useful when trying to escape a bounty and is very handy on water maps like Vondel. The field upgrade dupe is still working and this will work with the munition box, armor box, and the self revive box. Throw down a Simtex and just before you get down, use your field upgrade. And if you timed it perfectly, you will still have one equipped and another will be on the ground. You can then repeat this over and over again to get an unlimited amount of self revives or stims. This will work in DMZ and Warzone. A brand new wall breach can be found at the terminal in Vondel. You will want to push a friend through a wall to breach inside, but you will need the right kind of vehicle since some of the cars won't work. Just like at the other spots, your friend will need to be pushing towards the window when you hit them with the car, and this should eventually push them through. Just make sure they go in with a self revive in case they get downed. There is a ton of loot in here, and even some safes if you're wanting some extra money. This also works at City Hall, which is perfect if you want to kill the pyro. Your friend will need to be pushing towards the wall while you ram them with the vehicle, and sometimes jumping can help too. Again, it's a good idea if they have a self-revive in case they get downed. You will want to bring a Simtex along when fighting the pyro since it will only take one Simtex to insta-kill him. But you can just ignore the pyro and come in here for the loot since there is quite a bit. You can still glitch into the Abagra Fortress, but you will need to have a dirt bike. You will want to drive it over the same wall I do, and you should fall down inside the locked area. Again, a self-revive is a good idea since the bots in here can be pretty tough. 
Another great spot to visit is the Sawa Bank. Just head up to the roof and you'll want to go prone where I do to unlock the door. The loot inside will always be random, but you will always find the chemical warehouse key inside. Once you have the key, you'll want to head to this location. This is one of my favorite spots to loot since you can always find something nice inside. Another spot you can glitch into can be found right here. Your friend will need to push forward and jump in front of this window while you hit them with the car and they should eventually be pushed right through. Again, the loot inside will be completely random, but it's a good spot to check for easy cash. The police academy is one of my favorites and you can glitch through almost any window on the ground floor. Once your friend gets into the wall breach, they will be able to unlock the door to the second floor, but the only way out is by entering a nearby vehicle. At this point, some players decided to show up and ruin our fun. They thought I was a solo player, and instead of recruiting me, they just looted all my stuff and left me for dead. But luckily, they didn't know about my friend hiding in the wall. Hopefully these have helped you guys out, and you can keep watching to see some more fun we had in DMZ and more loot spots. And if you made it this far, then say DMZ PvP in the comments. And thank you all so much for watching. And that's all for now. I'll see you next time. He's in the wall. Yo, that's like, that's crazy. Y'all hacking like that. We all might die. Oh, we're dead. I have seen one. No, no, no. 